Welcome, in front of me I have Xiaomi SmartBand 10 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this SmartBand with the Android phone. First thing you will need to do is to turn on your SmartBand and you can turn it on by plugging it to a charger. Once you plug it to a charger, we have a pen right here and the charger should be in your box with the, with the device. Once you plug it to the charger, it should turn on automatically. And after it does, you probably will see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through this list, find the language you would like to use on your SmartBand, and then tap on it to select it. And after that, you will see the QR code on the screen. Uh, and you can scan it to uh, get to the download link for the app. Or you can simply go to the phone you want to pair your SmartBand with. Make sure you have the internet connection, Bluetooth enabled. And then you can simply open the... Uh, Play Store on your phone, tap on search, tap on the search bar and type in uh, Xiaomi, I believe it's fitness or Mi Fitness, all oh, right, it's called Mi Fitness, Mi Fitness, and tap on search. And you should see this application called Mi Fitness, formerly known as Xiaomi Wear. You can tap on install to install it. And now let's wait until it's done installing. And now, once the application is done installing, you can tap on open button to open it. In the app, you can tap on start. Here, tap on agree. Agree. Uh, and now we need to select the service region. You can tap right here. Scroll through the list, look for something you like. Then tap on it and tap on next. And here you should see the health page. Now tap on device. Add device. Tap on agree. Agree and allow the required permission. The app will detect your smart band, tap on it. And as you can see, we need to log in into Xiaomi account. So tap on sign in, enter the email address and password. <laughs> of course, if you don't have an account, uh, you can always create a new one by tapping on create account right here. As you can see, I already have one, so I can just enter the email password and and email and password and then login. So I'm gonna tap on sign in. And once you log in, it will redirect you back to the add page. Select your smart band again. Tap on pair. Tap on the check mark on the band. And here you can check the box if you want to install the updates over Wi-Fi automatically. If you don't, you can uncheck it and then tap next. And right here we can uh, enable the app notifications. And you have two options, mirror phone notifications. It will basically uh, copy the settings from your phone and apply them to your smart band. And then we have customized notifications and can customize them by tapping on the switch next to the app you want to turn on the notifications for. And how, how it works is basically if you turn on the notifications, let's say for a calculator and you receive the notification from calculator, that notification will be no, uh, forwarded to your smart band, so you will, it will also pop up on your smart band. If you disable it, it won't pop up on your smart band, it will only show, show up on your phone. So customize this to your liking. You can also tap on skip if you don't want to enable the notifications at all. But once you're done customizing them, and then tap on next, as you can see, there is required permission for the notifications to work. Uh, so you need to tap on OK. It will direct you to this page. Here you need to find the Mi Fitness application on the list tap on it, tap on the switch next to it, or next to allow notification access, then you need to tap on allow. And once the this is enabled, once the no, allow notification access is enabled, you can tap on back button. And the notifications should be working at that point. Next, we have the incoming calls. So basically, it will display the number that is calling you on your phone and stuff like that. If you want to use it, check the box, tap on next. If you don't care, tap on dismiss to keep it disabled. And of course, if you want to enable it, you will need to allow some permissions as well. And then we have the weather updates. If you want to keep them, check the box, tap on next. If you don't want to use them, tap on dismiss, of course. Uh, allow the required permission. The app will ask you to allow it for all the time. Uh, fine. And then we can go back next. Here, tap on down, continue. Next, next, next done start you can turn on the sync to sync the data from all of your devices and 
Now we should see your smart band and it should be connected. Can we verify it somehow? On the smart band. Yeah, here we have it. There's this Bluetooth icon next to the battery icon, which means that the smart band is paired with a device. And we have a, uh, where are, uh, our smart band right here on the wearables page. And we can see the status of it. It's connected and that means that the devices are paired together and that's how you pair this smart band with the android phone thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video